so hello guys with the name of god ram ram today we are going to solve this problem equality at equity most of you already know what this question is asking right they are saying that we are giving you two numbers and those two numbers can be very very big okay from 1 to 10 raised to 9 and the test cases can be from 1 to 10 raised to 5 you have to make those numbers equal that's it that's it understanding of the problem given two numbers a and b make them equal make them equal guys that's it that's our task yes current we have to make these two numbers equal guys you can do n number of operations and you have to decide yourself and you have to decide yourself okay You guys, in the first operation, you can do plus 1 to any number A or B you want. In the second operation, you will have to do minus 2 to any number you want. In the second, uh, in the third operation, you will have to do... Guys, you can see now, whenever the odd operation is there, you will do plus. Okay? Whenever even number is there, you will do minus 4. Okay? Like this. You guys have to do these operations on any of the numbers A and B. Finally, finally... A should become equal to equal to B. That's it, guys. That's it. Is the understanding of the problem clear? Guys, uh, start writing yes in the chat. Guys, start writing yes in the chat. Nice to see you, Nikhil. Actually, this one is more difficult than spread spree. It got more solutions. Be uh, it got uh, more submissions due to some illegal reasons that we should not discuss in the recording. Okay? Yeah. So guys, uh, the thing is that we need to make A equal to B. Very, very important for us, okay? Very, very important for us to make A equal to B, okay? So I'm giving you some example. Please let me know if you can make A equal to B. Guys, everyone start writing in the chat. How will you make A equal to B? This is your A and this is your B. Be super quick. Don't waste much time. Quick, fast. Start writing in the chat. What operation you will do to make A equal to B? Yeah, you, you are saying that you will do plus one on A. Good, 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 good. Nice. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Hmm. Guys, let's say your A is one and your B is four. How can you make uh, A equal to B? Like the operations can be very, very complicated as shown here. You never know where you should be doing plus 1, where you should be doing minus 2, where you should be doing plus 3. There is no idea about that. How can you make A equal to B? Use your own brain. Use your brain. This is not easy actually. <laughs> uh, you can... Uh, what can you do guys? Tell me. Plus 1, minus 2. Yes guys, you will do plus 1 here and you will do minus 2 here. So this will also become 2 and this will also become 2. So in two operations, you are able to make both of these equal. Okay. Guys, is the understanding of problem clear to most people? Then write yes. If it is not clear, then write no. The question is that in each step, you can do plus 1, then minus 2, then plus 3, then minus 4, then plus 5, then minus 6 on any of the number you want, A or B. Okay. So difference should be the sum of natural numbers. Uh, Jivtesh, uh, difference should be zero. Both the numbers should become equal in the end. Now, guys, I am showing you a hard test case. Tell me the answer for this. 1 and 8. How will you make both of them equal? In the first operation, you can do plus 1, then minus 2, then uh, plus 3. This, this test case will explain you the difficulty of the problem. Like this, you can do any number of operations, but you have to do minimum number of operations. So as to make sure that both of them become equal. Uh, any answers in the chat? Obviously, uh, the answer is like this. You will do the unintuitive move. See guys, what is the intuition? 1 should get closer to 8 and 8 should get closer to 1. But that does not work here. First, you will do this plus 1 operation and your 8 will look like this 9. Then you will do minus 2 on this number only. 
so it will look like 7 then you will do this plus 3 on this 7 only then it will look like 10 then you will do this minus 4 on this 10 only it will look like 6 then this plus 5 you will do on the number a 1 plus 5 6 see both became 6 it took total 5 operations in doing this thing guys uh, do you now realize that this problem is so difficult you can there is no there is no foundation you never know that just bringing them closer is always the right option sometimes sometimes creating space and then coming closer is better like you converted the 8 to 9 and then you started going down okay so this is not that easy okay lots of observation is needed here but what is the first observation i did when i saw i saw first what they are saying that if you are not able to do then print minus one guys the first observation is that answer is always possible i'm sending this document to you for writing the observation the answer is always possible even if you are not doing minimum operations it's fine but the answer is always possible okay guys i will jivtesh i will show it to you with live example that answer is always possible okay observation number one answer is always possible how i will show you let's assume my a is less than b okay let's assume my a is less than b let's assume this is 10 and this is 20 see you can do all the operations on this integer only and get your job done if you do plus one jivtesh it will become 11 right but then if you do minus uh, two what will happen it will become 9. But then if you do plus 3, what will happen? It will become 12. So in short, can you see? Can you see? This 10 is becoming 11. Then it is becoming 9. Then it is becoming 12. Then minus 4 if I do, it becomes 8. Basically, a single number can generate an effect of plus 1 also. It can generate the effect of plus 2 also minus 1 also minus 2 also by doing these operations a single number can be turned into any number by doing these operations it just does not guarantee the minimum number rest all is totally totally fine guys everyone write yes in the chat if they agree ki any number can become any other number if you want by doing this religiously if you do this stuff religiously na it will slowly slowly increase only got my point what i'm trying to say any number in this world can become any other number. MD Ishtakar, MD Ismail. Such a coincidence. Great job. Guys, any number can become any other number. Okay, why, 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 why? Why? If your, if your number is a, if your number is a, you can reach, you can reach A plus 1, A plus 2, A plus 3, and so on by doing all the operations line wise on a similarly you can reach a minus 1 a minus 2 a minus 3 a minus 4 by doing all the operations line wise on a so guys just doing operations on a single number uh, hence minus one answer is hence, minus one is not possible okay hence answer will always be possible okay guys so guys uh, i hope uh, yeah good My goodness, these beginners now always, always, always. Anyways, ignore them. Yes, guys, any number can be converted to any other number. Okay. Good, 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 good. Any number can be converted to, but uh, uh, that is the minimum. That yeah, that is not sure. Okay, good, awesome. Let me close WhatsApp for some time. Yeah. Hmm.
now guys we need to do some other kind of observation okay uh, you guys understood that you can always convert a to b but uh, minimum number of operations will not be guaranteed okay minimum number of operations will not be guaranteed but you can always convert a to b or b to a but if you have to do operations on both of them then it will surely become difficult okay guys clear good now guys uh, listen to me very very carefully very very carefully okay Okay. Uh, yeah. Let's say, guys, you are at this one. Okay, your A is one, and your B is eight. Everyone, write yes in the chat if they can assume this in their mind. Your A is one, your B is eight. You need to make them equal. Everyone, write yes in the chat, quick. Okay, great. What is the difference, guys? Let's create another equation. D equal to A minus B. Jivtesh, please write in the chat what is A minus B. No, no, A minus B. Yes, Sheenam is correct. It is minus 7. Congratulations. Great job. Guys, what is the optimal difference which you want? Currently, it is minus 7. But what should be the difference to solve our problem? What should be the difference? If the difference is 0, then your job is done. Now both the numbers become equal. But currently the difference is minus 7. So guys, another observation is that you can just do the operations on this difference and your job is done. Now listen to me very carefully. D equal to A minus B. You need to make, you need to make this single number 0. This single number 0 anyhow anyhow okay now it becomes easy now it becomes easy because you have to do operation only on one number okay guys now listen to me very carefully yeah it's such a nice thing right ab aapko bas ek hi number diya hai usme jo upar niche karna hai karo usko zero kar do kya ye baat sabko samajh aa chuki hai right yes in the chat now you just have this minus 7 do whatever the heck you want with these numbers. These numbers are going to fight this minus 7 and somehow this minus 7 should become 0. Guys, use your brain and tell me which number if you add to minus 7 then it will become 0. Which number if you add to minus 7 it will become 0. Plus 7. It means you need to do operations with these numbers such that a plus 7 comes out. Do you know what you can do? Uh, think about it. Think about it. What can you do with the first five numbers? Guys, either you have to put plus sign on a number or minus sign. Do like that and trial me. How will you get five? Use your brain and let me know. Okay. You want a plus seven. What signs should I put on the different different numbers to get my job done? Nana, that I am not asking. I am asking about operation to inke saath karne hai na? To minus one ke saath kya karu ab mein? Let's try to do... Uh, uh, wait, wait, huh? it is what? 1 minus 8, right? Minus 7, okay. So let's say first I do minus 1, okay? If I do minus 1, it will look like this, right? Minus 8. Okay. Then if I try to do plus 2, it will look like this, right? It will look like uh, minus 6. Then if I do minus 3, it will look like minus 9. Then if I do plus 4 and plus 5, it will become 0. So guys, on this minus 7, first I will do plus 1. Okay. First I will do plus 1. No, no. First I will do minus 1. First I will do minus 1. Then I will do plus 2. Okay. Then I will do plus 2. Then I will do minus 3. Then plus 4. Then plus 5. Alternate signs does not matter here. I will explain that to you in a second. Okay. 
explain that to you in a second. So guys, listen to me very, very carefully. Okay. Let's say this is your A. This is your B. This is your 1. This is your 8. Your difference is 1 minus 8 minus 7. Now guys, you know that in the first operation, you can either add 1 or subtract 1. Then 2, then 3, then 4. But guys, I want to prove something to you. Can you please tell me if I add a 1 here in A, if I add a 1 here in A, what will happen to the D? Everyone, please start writing in the chat. If I add a 1 to the A, what will happen to my difference? What will it become? What will it become? Everyone write in the chat. Everyone write difference increases by 1. Everyone write in the chat. Difference increases by 1. So if I add a 1 here, now, difference increases by 1. Okay. Great. Guys, what would happen if I add a minus 1 here? This would become 0, right? And the difference would decrease by 1. Difference would decrease by 1. Guys, similarly, do you agree? If I do here plus 1, minus 1, same kind of effect can come. Different can, difference can become plus 1 or minus 1. So guys, can you see this? You have four options. Everyone write in the chat. At each uh, at uh, each position, we have four options. This four option is the most important thing. You are at this A. You are at this B. Either you increase plus X or decrease minus X. Or you do plus X or you do minus X. Okay. Okay. <laughs> there are not actually four options. I was just joking with you. Now listen to me very carefully. The thing is that a sign is assigned to you. Okay. Let's say, let's say, see, plus 1 is there. Then minus 2 is there. Then plus 3 is there. What I want to show you, what I want to show you that even if the plus 3 is there, what is the distance, guys? What is the difference? A minus B. Okay. If I do plus 3 here, if I do plus 3 here, I am only allowed to do plus 3, right? Only allowed to do plus 3. Then it will look like A minus B plus 3. But, but if I do plus 3 here, it will look like A minus B plus 3. It will look like A minus B minus, A minus B plus 3. Okay. Looks like this. Different effect at different places, guys. I need to take few more examples to explain, I think. Guys, this is your A and this is your B. Okay. This is your 1 and uh, this is your 8. The difference is what? Minus 7. First operation you can do is plus 1. If I do plus 1 here, what will be the difference? It will be 2 minus 8, which is uh, minus 6. If I do plus 1 here, it will be 1 minus 9. Which is minus 8. So guys, I want to tell you. In the first move, your D is minus 7. Now it can either become minus 6 or it can either become minus 8. Everyone write yes in the chat if they agreed with this. In the first move, either your D can go up by 1 or it can go low by 1. Okay. So let me write this very, very clearly. In the first move, in the first move, Either your D can go up by 1 or it can go low by 2. Sorry, low by 1. Guys, similarly, in the second move, either, either your D can go up by 2 or it can go low by 2. So guys, in the first move, either your D can go up by 1 or it can go low by 1. In the second move, either your D can go up by 2 or it can go low by 2. So guys, do you understand? Because of this feature na, that you can, uh, do, the sign does not matter. Everyone write in the chat. Hence, the sign does not matter. Hence, the sign does not matter. 
Why? 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 Basically, what I am trying to say is that uh, your D is minus seven, right? In the first move, you are allowed to do either plus one or minus one. It is not mattering. Similarly, in the second move, you can do either plus two or minus two. It is not mattering because of the nature of the operations. Got it? Uh, let's say this was your uh, one and this was your eight. Okay. Let's say I'm doing the operation number two. And operation number two is minus two. Okay. So this is minus seven. One minus eight. If I do one minus two here, it will look like what? It will look like minus one. And minus one, uh, min uh, minus one. Minus 8 will be what? Minus 9. See guys, it went low by 2. And similarly, if this was 1 and this was 8, this was 1 and this was 8 and I did minus 2 here, I did minus 2 here, it would have become what? It would have become 6. Then 1 minus 6 would become minus 5. So guys, this same minus 7 is allowed to become minus 9 also and minus 5 also. Is it now finally clear to all of you that at each position, you can go up by x or low by x. The sign does not matter. Everyone write in the chat. The sign does not matter. For your single value d, sign does not matter. That's why. That's why. Now the question is very, very simple. Find the smallest n such that, such that, such that, is equal to D where a sign can be anything. Okay. This can be plus or minus plus or minus guys. This is the question <laughs> when you find the D na, now find the smallest n such that either plus or minus of first guy either plus or uh, I guys, I hope you got what I'm trying to say either plus or minus of second guy. This is a very deep question, but it's very interesting. Either plus or minus of the third guy. Either uh, plus or uh, minus of the fourth guy. Like this you have to do till n. n should be smaller number. Then it will be small number of operations, right? That should be equal to d. Is the final question clear to everyone? That first you will calculate the d. Okay. Clear. Now. Uh, if d is minus 7, you will try to make sure that you get a sequence like this whose sum is 7. Okay. Like opposite of d, you can say absolute value of d. Doesn't matter, man. Right? Whatever. Doesn't matter. Okay. So if this becomes equal to d, your job is done. If this does not become equal to d, your job is not done. Yes. Good. 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 Nice. Now listen to me very carefully. So guys, if... Uh, Guys, we can ignore the negative sign and the positive sign. Okay. Let's say, let's say if D is equal to seven, then also the answer will be same and D equal to minus seven. Then also the answer will be same. Why? Because here, whatever operations you are doing as plus and minus. Now, if you reverse them, the answer will be that for D equal to minus seven. Guys, do you understand that even the sign of D does not matter? Everyone write in the chat. Even the sign of D does not matter. Only the quantity matters. Clear? Guys, someone write in the chat. Sign of D does not matter. Someone needs to write in the chat, guys. It's very, very important. And be quick, guys. Don't waste time. Yes, Sheenam is my favorite student. She always writes what is needed. And Pooja and Harsh and Sami. Great job. Nice. Awesome. So you guys understood that. Great. Now, guys, see your A is 1. And your B is uh, 8. And your D is coming as minus A minus B, which is minus 7. So basically, you need to neutralize it. You need to add 7 to it and you need to make it 0. So basically, what I want is 1, 2, 3, 4. Let's say I take till 5. I Guys, I want their summation to be 7. But you can change any sign you want. So guys, what is the solution to this? Here I will put a minus sign. Uh, here I will put a plus sign. Here also I will put a plus sign. 
wait, wait, wait. I hope, guys, what was the solution to this? Even I forgot. Please tell me. Guys, what was the solution to this one? Write in the chat. Plus one, plus two, minus three. Okay. Okay, let me write it as minus three. Minus one plus two minus three. Guys, is it correct? Four plus five is nine. Okay, guys. So, guys, this is the solution. Minus one plus two minus three plus four plus five. This is becoming equal to seven. Guys, do you finally understand the question? What you have to do? Whatever your D is now, you need to find some n numbers such that you can put any sign and you can get them equal to this. Is the understanding of the question now finally clear to you? Do you now understand that this is not an easy question at all? So much thinking is needed, right, Jyotish? Yeah. Good, Mahak. Good, good. So you guys understand that you have to do this thing. But guys, your life would be so much better, right? Life would be so much better if negative sign was not there. Okay, life would be so much better. So guys, uh, let's try to solve an easier problem. Okay. Easier version, only positive signs, only positive signs. Okay. So if you try to take only positive sign, find the smallest 10 such that, such that, such that, such that. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus n is uh, greater than equal to absolute of d okay guys how will you do that first you can try for n equal to 1 try for n equal to 1 if this is less than uh, uh, less than d then try for n equal to 2 you can do a binary search right guys n equal to 3 then n equal to 4 first you will try to do linear search then you can directly jump to binary search, right guys? Binary search. Guys, uh, do you understand what binary search I'm talking about, right? Yes or no in the chat? Uh, guys, this is very commonsensical. Uh, what is the formula for 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus n equal to? I will tell you. It is nothing but n into n plus 1 by 2 should be greater than equal to d. I hope you guys know that the sum of the numbers from 1 to n is nothing but n into n plus 1 by 2. Okay. This should be greater than or equal to d. So first you will substitute 1 and check. Then you will substitute 2 and check. As you increase the n, this quantity is going to increase. And at of some particular point, it will cross d. At some particular point, it is going to cross d. It is going to cross d. Once it crosses the d, you have your answer. You know how many minimum numbers are needed to tackle that. Clear, guys? Clear? Now, guys, I will show it to you with a live example, okay? Let's say your D is equal to 7. Guys, what you will do? For N equal to 1, what is N into N plus 1 by 2? It is 1 only. For N equal to 2, uh, what is N into N plus 1 by 2, guys? 3. Are 2 into 3 by 2. Itna bhi nahi aata hai kya? Kahan se aage ho tum log? Ha, okay. Anyways, jokes apart. Guys, for n equal to 3. Tell me guys, for n equal to 3. 6. Guys, is, 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 is n equal to 3 enough to sustain this? Can you bring 7 sum in n equal to 3? No, no. Even if you write all the positive signs, then also 7 is not coming. How will you add negative signs? Guys, is n equal to 4? Able to sustain 7. What is the answer for n equal to 4? It will generate 10. Yes. n equal to 4 is the first guy which is greater than or equal to 7. Why? 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 is greater than or equal to 7 because this is 10. Okay, guys. So, if this is greater than or equal to 7, it means all these values are valid. This 5 will also be greater than or equal to 7. And this till 6 will also be greater than or equal to 7. Okay. But guys, now our job is to find out 
which one of them them can give an exact seven value okay exact seven value which one of them can give you an exact seven value okay so guys let's say you fix it okay guys uh we can never get minus one ananya never never in the start only i showed you right guys do you understand maine start mein dikhaya tha koi bhi number ko kisse bhi equal kara sakte hain minimum number of operation doesn't matter so how can you get minus 1 you can never get minus 1 ananya you can always make any number equal to any other number okay yeah i am discussing the minimum case here not the normal case in normal case na ek ko tum 1 crore bhi bana sakti ho kuch farak nahi padta that's why session was very important for this problem now guys listen to me very carefully Let's say I fix your n equal to five, okay? Ananya and Jivdesh, now someone is asking you. I fix this for you. Everyone, write in the chat n equal to five fixed. Some god came from the heaven and he fixed n equal to five for you. Everyone, write in the chat n equal to five fixed. Now, guys, if I fix the n equal to five for you and you want to make it equal to seven, how will you do that? how will you check if it is possible or not what is the first common sense is coming in your mind first you should try to check the positive sum of all the numbers right what is the positive sum of all the numbers it is 5 into 6 by 2 which is 30 by 2 which is 15 so guys this 15 is greater than or equal to 7 means it is possible to put some minus signs here and get the 7 that's the very first observation okay uh, let me write it here also if some n is fixed if some n is fixed if some n is fixed such that such that such that n into n plus 1 by 2 if all the positive sums are greater than equal to d then there are high chances high chances that you can insert some negative signs in it and become equal to d become equal to d okay guys that's it that's my first observation okay so guys now use common sense use common sense if you do if you change a plus sign to minus sign what will be the effect can anyone tell me to the total sum if i make this plus 3 to minus 3 what will be the effect it will subtract 3 two times first this 3 become 0 it gives the effect of minus 3 then it becomes minus 3 so one more time minus 3 guys do you realize whenever you flip a number it subtracts the total sum uh, by two times that number yes correct correct whenever whenever this is very important observation whenever you flip a sign it subtracts two times that number from the total sum so guys now the problem is solved congratulations let's say i fix n equal to 5 for you okay lovely people i fixed it out for you okay Now you want it to be seven, but this is what fifteen. Ananya, please tell me how much number you need to subtract from fifteen so as to get seven. Ananya, please tell me in the chat how much you need to subtract from fifteen, everyone, to get seven. I hope you guys know this. Or you don't know that, huh? Eh? Eight, guys, you need to subtract eight. It means, it means, select a subset of numbers. Whose sum is four? If you are able to do that, you will reach the sum seven. Guys, which is the subset of numbers whose sum is four? One plus three. If you see one plus three is what four? And if you flip their signs, it will the it will give the effect of minus four into two, because whenever you flip the sign, it subtract two times that number. Minus four into two is nothing but eight. Job is done. Congratulations. guys the problem was so easy all you had to do is find a subset of numbers whose sum is 4 so uh, let's say 
let's say n equal to 5 okay you want it equal you want this okay you want this so guys what is the difference uh total sum minus 7 8 try to find a subset of numbers whose sum is 8 by 2 because it will already flipping any number will give the effect of a 2 right so 8 by 2 equal to 4 which is nothing but what 1 plus 3 so this means that if you flip their signs your job will be done flip their signs such a deep problem is this my goodness 1 minus 1 plus 2 minus 3 plus 4 now why is this working out Ananya? because when you flip 1 and 3 now 4 difference is creating 2 times 4 times 2 8 so 15 minus 8 it becomes 7 and your job is done actually okay so uh, this was a 15 right okay now guys listen to me very carefully uh, yeah Hmm. So guys, you understood that uh, now the question is very simple. You first find a guy which is bigger than this D. Then you try to find a subset whose uh, sum is this particular number. If you are able to find that subset, your job is done. Congratulations. Clear? Uh, but you directly remove 4 is also a solution. Yes, that is also a solution. Congratulations. Who told it? Guys, Shubham is also correct. Shubham is also correct. Another solution is 1 plus 2 plus 3 minus 4 plus 5. No problem. This will give you the same answer. Got it guys? 3 minus 4 minus 1 minus 1 and 5 plus 2 7. You just need to find any subset whose sum is 4. Everyone write yes in the chat if things still here are clear to each one of you. And be super quick. Okay, guys, now comes the last thing. How to everything is being done in this problem. Now, finally, if your n is somehow fixed, what you will do? Algorithm is very simple, guys. Algorithm is very simple. Okay, what is the algorithm? Using binary search. This is such a brilliant problem, by the way. Using binary search. Today is the first time, or I think the second time where I'm taking two coding sessions a day. Using binary search. Find the smallest n. Guys, why am I finding smallest n? Because I want small number of operation. Find the smallest n such that 9 total such that such that 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus n is greater than equal to d then try flipping burgers then try flipping the signs Guys, the thing is that it is common sense that first uh, for all the positive numbers, na, try to find the smallest guy who is greater than or equal to D. If that is also not greater than or equal to D, then doesn't matter what kind of flipping you do. For example, let me show it to you. Let's say D is equal to 7. 1 plus 2 plus 3. What is this, guys? This is 6, right, Aranya? Now, even if you change the signs, this can only become less than 6. How will it ever become 7? So, first it is the necessary uh, necessity ishinam that this stuff is greater than or equal to 7. If this is not greater than or equal to 7, <laughs> the flipping can only reduce the sum. It can never make it equal to D. Got it? First, first thing is that you need to make it greater than or equal to D. So first using binary search, you will find the smallest n such that this, this, this is greater than or equal to D. This is very simple. The formula is simple. Uh, low equal to 1 and high equal to D, mid equal to low plus high by 2, you keep on trying this till you find the smallest n which is greater than or equal to D. This I think you can do. Once done, uh, check if n is the correct answer. If not, check n plus 1. If not, check n plus 2. Now, guys, I will tell you the reason. Okay, listen to me very carefully. Guys, the most important observation is 
you can always find a subset okay you see if you have set of numbers from 1 to 5 let's say you have a set of numbers from 1 to 5 all subsets can be generated all subsets can be generated this is the special quality of having the permutation of numbers 1 to 5 all subsets can be generated which have the sums which have the sums 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 till the last sum sum is 15 now all these numbers can be generated do you guys see the brilliance here how they try to fool you all the all the you don't even need to check guys right yes in the chat you don't need to check it can always be generated jo chahiye aapko la ke diya jayega kyunki numbers hi is permutation mein likhe hue hai for example this is such an interesting thing let me show it to you again if you have one ananya you can generate a sum of one if you have one comma two ananya you can generate one also you can generate two also you can generate three also if you have one two three what is the total sum six right you can generate one you can generate two three four five six this is a mathematical rule if you have all the numbers in a single line till this three whatever is the sum of all these numbers now all those subsets can be generated here so you never need to ask can this be generated or not that's the nice thing okay i hope you got it now comes the final exception okay so guys for seven which is the smallest n such that uh, the sum will become greater than or equal to seven is one is three the correct answer no four is the correct answer right what is the value to this 10 what is the value to this what is the value to this guys 10 now comes the interesting part what do you want see how it fails now <laughs> what do you want you want 7 right so guys 10 minus 7 3 guys you need a 3 what do you need 3 what do you need 3 but 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 any subset of numbers you pick from here if you multiply them by 2 the subtraction will always be even and here you want odd subtraction hence it is not possible you only need to check if it is even subtraction or not that's it guys the subtraction should be even if the they are saying odd then it is not possible that's it got my point so if this sum which you are getting now if this is even and your d is odd then the problem cannot be solved n equal to 4 you cannot solve try for n equal to 5 got my point got my point yes shubham yes yes now now uh, uh, i will uh, explain one more time here it is very easy to do see listen to me everyone listen to me everyone okay if you have n equal to 5, nah, then it is super easy. Why? Because the sum is 15 and you want 7, right? So, see, this is also odd number. You, what you want is also odd number. 15 minus 7 is what, Ananya? It is 8. 8 is what? Even number. You can get a subset of even, even sum here. Why? Because 8 by 2 is what? 4. You can find a 4 here. But in the previous case... The difference was 3, right? Difference was 3. You cannot do 3 by 2 equal to 1.5. You cannot find 1.5 here. Got my point. So, the thing is that uh, what are you doing uh, finally? Finally, whatever is this total sum now and whatever is the D, you are subtracting them, right? Sum minus D. Guys, everyone write in the chat that sum minus D should be even. Or else it is not possible. Everyone write in the chat. The only condition to check is. Total sum minus D should be even. Now guys comes the most interesting part. When will it be even? Ananya. If, uh, if this is uh, say your current number is odd number. So. 
if your total sum is also odd na if this is also odd only then it kill will be even got my point and if your current this d is also even then this also needs to be even parity should be same of the total sum and your d only then the even number difference can be generated yes uh, i hope it's clear to them odd minus odd will be even and uh, yes 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 you guys now finally understood such a great problem right brilliant one so you guys understood this much also great nice to know so guys now the algorithm is pretty simple okay first you try to find a n okay guys uh, ananya in the case of 7 your n was 4 right when you fail to solve by n with 4 what will you try ananya right in the chat you tried for n equal to 4 it does not did not work out what will you try what will you try n equal to 5 right try for a bigger number let's say even this does not work out then what you will do ananya n equal to 6 mathematical theory says you will not need more than three numbers why why there is a very special property of the sum of numbers see for n equal to 1 the sum of all the numbers is what 1 for n equal to 2 sum of all numbers is what 3 n equal to 3 sum of all numbers is 6 n equal to 4 sum of all numbers is 10 n equal to 5 sum of all numbers is 15 n equal to 6 sum of all numbers is what 6 into 7 by 2 21 so ananya it all always the first two numbers are odd and then the next two numbers are even so doesn't matter where you hit your n in three in three iteration you will get the correct number okay see this is again odd this is again odd this uh, so it is uh, odd odd even even odd odd even even odd odd this brilliant observation this brilliant observation tells you ki tum is duniya mein kahi bhi khade ho jao दो तीन इटरेशन में कोई ना कोई दूसरा ऑड या इवन आ ही जाएगा जो तुम्हारे डी के ऑड इवन से मैच करके तुम्हारी लाइफ सेट कर देगा इज दिस ब्रिलियंट ऑब्जर्वेशन क्लियर टू यू दैट नो मैटर विच एन यू आर हिटिंग इधर दिस एन और एन प्लस वन और एन प्लस टू विल बी हैविंग द सेम पैरिटी एज योर डी ऑड और इवन यू विल बी हिटिंग ऑड और इवन इफ यू जस्ट गो थ्री स्टेप्स आईड इफ यू आर हियर यू वॉन्ट इवन इन जस्ट थ्री स्टेप्स यू विल गेट इवन इफ यू आर हियर यू वॉन्ट ऑड in just three step worst case you will get odd that's why uh, first you try to find your n then try to see if n is working out if it is not working out try n plus 1 not working out n plus 2 then you don't need to go ahead in the worst case these three will be having either some odd numbers and some even numbers for for as to your d to satisfy oh my goodness uh, guys is this finally clear to you people very great problem right because uh, in this problem you can see the sum of the odd all the numbers is alternating like this o o e e o o e e o o e e and because of this many people did not explain okay i saw at many places many people don't know why will the answer be only n n plus 1 n plus 2 because see the see the sum of see the pattern of the sum of all the numbers from 1 to n for each n and then you will come to know clear guys <sighs> okay guys now i'm stopping the recording okay yes you are learning chinese good